Okay, guys, so here we are. Uh, this is Zero Morph with uh, episode, gosh, what is this, 15 already? Wow! I can't believe we're already on episode 15. That is so exciting. Ah! Fantastic. Okay, so here we are with uh, our Asimite Vizier, Sparrow McRae, those of you who are just uh, right now catching up with us. Um, she is an Asimite Vizier, a former computer hacker black hat. Um, and if I'm explaining this all uh, to you for the first time, I highly recommend you go back to the uh, character creation video and watch all 1,000 hours of my previously recorded videos um, because they're extremely exciting. Um, I hope. I, I think you like them. I hope you like them. Maybe you don't like them. Maybe you think they suck. I don't know. Let's find out. <laughs> okay, so as I'm walking through the streets of uh, downtown Los Angeles, I am actually making my way over to the uh, taxi driver uh, who is it's is uh, being driven by Kane, supposedly. I don't know if I necessarily believe that or not, but... Um, and uh, I figured instead of just standing and talking to you guys, it might be more fun to actually have her walk down there while I talk about my updates and I talk about like all the stuff going on with TFN 1.5 HD and about the comments. Well, when I recorded episode 14, which was uh, yesterday on a Monday, um, I'm actually in the process of uploading that right now, which my internet connection is really bad. Uh, so it takes me like almost 24 hours just to upload a single video. Um, so I don't have any comments to talk about in this particular video because, you know, they haven't been, uh, it hasn't been watched yet. However, uh, don't worry because I have some pretty big and exciting news. Uh, about my personal life I was hoping to share with my audience today I don't think my uh, wife would mind if I share this with you guys I mean we're we're telling everybody anyways um, and uh, like the whole world's gonna know or at least anyone who knows us is gonna know here shortly anyways but uh, I thought I would let you guys know that uh, yesterday, um, or oh, I'm sorry, this morning, excuse me, this morning, my wonderful and beautiful wife uh, and I uh, found out from the doctor that she is pregnant with our first child. So, woohoo! Man, Zero Morph is gonna be a daddy! This is so exciting! Oh my gosh! I'm not even mature enough to have a son or a daughter or a kid. Oh my gosh. Can you imagine me as a dad? <laughs> it's so exciting. So, uh, yeah, that's kind of what's going on with my life right now. Um, how is having a uh, baby, which is our first child. Uh, I don't have any kids. She doesn't have any kids. Uh, this is all a big first for us. Um, and uh, yeah, so how is that going to affect uh, TFN um, here? Let me go talk to him real quick and we can get a ride. Uh, for now, go ahead and just drive, buddy. We want to go out to Grout's awesome mansion in the hills. So how is this going to affect... Um, the future of the final nights. Um, oh, oh, here comes uh, Nines Rodriguez. What Yo, what are you doing here? Uh, Yo, Nines, what's up, man? No, no. no. Uh, that wasn't really a yes or no question, dude. You should get out of here. This place is bad news. Uh, pardon me. Whoa, wait a minute, wait a minute. Why do you not sound like Nines Rodriguez? You look like him, but you don't sound like him. Uh, huh? And then he just walks off. Okay, guys, I don't think that that was Nine Ro Nines Rodriguez. Uh, I really don't. Um, I think that was like someone who shapeshifted into him. But what do I know, right? I'm just an Asimite Vizier. I should have used Auspex on him to see if maybe I could discern who that guy or person or doppelganger or whatever 
who he was. But anyway, so so how is uh, how is Zero Morph being a daddy going to affect the final nights? Uh, well, it's 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 certainly not going to um, help things. <laughs> I don't know, to be honest with you. Um, she's only two and a half weeks pregnant as of right now. Uh, so we're looking at probably like a middle of June uh, uh, date for uh, the uh, the birthing process, I guess. Like I said, I'm, I'm very new to this whole thing, so I don't really know what I'm doing. Um, but uh, yeah, things are probably going to get busy around my house, you know, preparing and learning. And like, I don't even know how to change a diaper, let alone like how to take care of an infant, dude. So, uh, yeah, I, I, I don't know how much time I'm going to have to put towards, uh, a 1.6 release or anything like that. So 1.5 HD may be the last update for a while. I just, I don't know guys. Um, I don't want that to be the case. I have some really cool plans for future updates, but uh, I really hope uh, you're enjoying this Let's Play and 1.5 HD uh, because <laughs> that might be all you get from me for a while. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. But uh, anyways, I just want to let you guys know kind of what's going on with me um, and if I kind of disappear for a little while after uh, this, this playthrough and after the release. Um, that's probably why, but I'll do my best to try to, you know, pop in every now and again and say, Hey, and, uh, cause you know, I really, I really like you guys. I've made some good friends, um, over the years, uh, through modding bloodlines. So, uh, yeah, yeah. I'm not going to permanently disappear. Don't worry. I, you know, my, my email still works and all that stuff. And, uh, maybe, maybe we can, uh, all of us, all of us on YouTube and in the PV community can all fly to my house and we can have a big party. Wouldn't that be cool? Uh, big, big barbecue. So, okay, guys. So we're here at Grout's Mansion. I'm going to feed on this wonderful young lady. Um, I don't want to kill her. She, she seems very nice with that mask on. Um, she didn't really seem to... Oh, never mind. Yeah, she didn't like that too much. Okay, I guess you're going to have to die oh man that shotgun really really puts the screws on you don't doesn't it do you see how far back she flew it was like it was like a five foot oh she just disappeared okay so i got my shotgun here and this guy is probably gonna see me um let's just nice and quietly let's just sneak through here I don't think that they really attack uh, unless unless what's his name attacks. I'm not sure. I haven't done this mission like forever. Oh, he's having fun. <laughs> See, he's not really hurting anybody. He's just kind of, you know, <laughs> taking care of himself, keeping himself entertained. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, drain him of his blood. I hope that doesn't ruin his day. But uh, actually, you know what? Why not get some aspects going on while I'm doing this? Okay, now, usually I just randomly kind of pull on these until it goes through. Um, but perception at once shapes the mind, rules over time. Time, however, erodes perception, then it warps the... Oh, see? That's too much for me. I'm not really... I'm not really smart enough. <laughs> that was random. I just grabbed two of them and it opened. Yeah, who 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 really needs to read, right? Reading's kind of kind of for like smart people. Uh, let's let's is that Grout? Another unfortunate ah, yes, yes, yes. tide of time. I I you like Grout's signs. voice. I think he sounds I pretty cool. Their loss, not only as brokerage houses for okay, the um, of human psychosis, but also I shall Let's go ahead and see if peculiar environment present uh, insane asylum. See, now, if this dude sees me, they're all going to come after me. brains and churning bowels. Your different melange of free-flowing bodily humans. Yeah, she, she was ready to... Oh, man! All right, game over for you guys. Uh, how about this one? Do we want to listen to this? Can I shut it off? Okay. I shut it off. I love this painting. 
that's a really cool creepy but cool painting now in this episode in episode 15 i'm going to do my absolute best guys to get through both the museum and the mansion so we can get to uh hollywood uh but uh yeah so that's that's the goal oh man he he knew he saw me or heard me right through the door here it moves so i can shoot you come on dude move Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Did you guys hear that? Did you? Did you? Did you? I don't think you did. Awesome. Okay, is there another one of those crazy dudes? I don't think so. Oh yeah, there's one over here. But I can't get in there. Not too worried. Okay, if you guys are just if you guys can just be chill and relax, if you guys can just kind of hang out then I don't have to kill you with Senor Shotgun. Oh, there we go. That'll keep them, keep them contained. Uh, here's one of those dudes. Yeah, let's go ahead and feed on this guy. You know, I just, oh yeah. I just feel bad. You know, that he's, he's in that state. Oh! Whoa. Okay. So I didn't even know she was uh, in here. But now I do. I don't want to turn that on. Is he dead? Um, well, I can't move anymore, so. Okay, oh yeah, the stairs. Do, 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 do. These stairs are so long. They go forever. Whoa. Okay. So we're making some pretty good progress already. I'm just kind of zipping around with my shotgun. Let me go ahead and reload while I'm running around here. Do, 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 do. Strafe to success. It's all about strafing, guys. You just, you have to strafe. Um, okay. So apparently if you touch them in any way, they will come after you. They'll like wake up or whatever you want to call that. I didn't realize that. Okay, who do we got down here? Anybody? How about back here? Oh. Okay, so we got these dudes. So as long as I don't touch them, they won't come after me unless one of their boyfriends comes after me. Where do I go? Do I go up here? That just takes me back into that room. Oh, yeah, this dude right here. This dude needs to go. He's he's violent. There we go. Uh, did anyone hear it? Nope. Cool. What's back here? Can I go back here? Okay, I see these two. Okay, and then... Man, Auspex sees everything. Okay, I saw one. I saw one go by. There he is. There he is. Glitch. Come here. Come here, buddy. Oh, yeah. Right in the leg, dude. Boom, boom. Let's reload. Anybody? No? Ah. Okay, so we're back here again. Um, is that is that a good thing? To be back here? Oh, okay. I need to get this, don't I? Uh, oh, man. Is it another puzzle? Let's just randomly hit him. <laughs> I love that, dude. All you have to do is just kind of randomly hit those uh, those candles. And then boom, man, you're good to go. All right, let's go through this. Let's go through this guy here. Oh, whoa, dude. Check this. Whoa, this looks dangerous. I almost said don't, 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 don't play with the electrical outlets now. Okay. All right, mama. Uh, let's go through here. Okay, okay, cool. That one's done. That one's done. Uh, how about this one? What does that do for me? Anything? How about this one? Is that... Oh, yeah, that turned off a bunch of them. Ah, but I need to get in here. 
How about that? Anything? No? Okay, what am I missing? What the heck am I missing? This one? Maybe? This one? No? You? Aha! Gotcha. Awesome, that wasn't bad. Let's hit that. That opens up. Yay! Ah, oh, our ticket to freedom. Let's go. Oh, I got one more experience. So I'm sitting at four experience. Now, guys, what do you think that I should get here? Um, Honestly, you know, I'm not going to lie about this. You know what I really want? I want a higher inspection. I want to see if I can get inspection to 10. You know how cool that'd be? I've never had an inspection past uh, eight. It's the highest I've ever had. And that's what I have right now when I use all specs. So how can I achieve an inspection of nine or 10? Well, I can pay six experience to go and get that up. Or, oh, wait a minute. No, I don't have an inspection of eight. I'm already using all specs right now. My bad. Sorry about that. Okay, so my highest inspection is seven. So I could get it to eight, which is incredible, by the way. Um, if I, let's see, how much? Okay, perception would cost eight. Investigation would cost six. And all specs would cost 18. <laughs> That's so much. Um, all right, well, once we get six experience, I may just buy it. I don't know. Because I really need a higher stamina. My bashing is three, which at this point in the game is kind of sad. Actually, it's really sad. Um, I need to be able to take bullets better. Um, I mean, I'm doing okay, I guess, as far as bullets are concerned. It could be worse, but it could definitely be better. Um, let's see here. Let's get under there. I'm going to have to seriously buy more shotgun rounds after this. Woo! Okay. I love that I didn't have to kill any of them. That makes me happy. She's not a killer. She doesn't want to kill. Okay, what do we got in here? Okay, so we got... We got that chick. Whoa! Okay, we got one of the sociopath killer guys. Let's see if I can just quietly... Anyone hear that? You guys good? Uh-oh, we got some people waking up. Ugh. Gotcha. Ugh. Nope. Oh, dang. Ah. Okay, gotcha. Uh-oh. Let's go. Come on. Woo, 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 woo. Oh, yeah. Ah. 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 Go away. That's called going away. All right. Man, that was a blast. <laughs> no pun intended. Okay. Laboratory refrigerator key. Um... Man, that's a bloody mess. Look at all that blood. So much food. Love blood. Blood is good. Oh, what's in here? <gasps> oh my gosh. Look at all that blood. Blood, blood, blood. Wow. Are you telling me I have six blood packs now? Is that enough for you, uh, something compass? Is that enough blood bags, you think? Or I still don't have enough, do I? <laughs> Morphine bottle. Those actually sell for a decent amount. Morphine's kind of expensive. So that's really, really good. Ah! Whoa. Oh, yeah. Ah! Ah! Ha, 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 ha. Come on, party people. Raise your hands in the air. Like you don't care. Oh, what's this? Oh, it's a shortcut. Wait a minute. Is there anything in, in these? Uh, what's in here? Nothing? A uh, bunch of knives. Whoa. What's in here? Oh, cool. Whoa. Hello? Hola? Hola? Como estas? Whoa, dude! It's a bunch of ammo for my shotgun. That's freaking cool, man. 
Oh, I love that. So great. Oh, another bottle of morphine. I guess it makes sense. It's kind of a hospital-ish kind of place. You know, I'm not going to go in there. Let's just go over here. I avoid battles when I can. I'm a very peaceful Asimite vizier. Wait a minute. Let's let's check these rooms though. Maybe I'll see some sparklies from way up here. Hey dude. Uh oh, gross. Dead body. Hey dude. Oh, look at him. He got mad just cuz I looked at him. You know you're a psychopath if someone gets mad at you just cuz you looked at him. Like, you know, you go to a bar and some dude, he's like mad. Oh! Oh yeah. Uh-oh, she's mad. She mad too. Let's just back up. Here, sweetie. I'm right here. Oh, surprise. Okay. Uh, she doesn't look too angry. Oh, she is angry. Oh, no. No, let me feed on you. I'm running out of auspex anyway, so this... Whoa! Man, these guys with their stupid knives. I guess I could be using Quick in the Blood on these guys, too. I didn't even think about that until now. Load up. Load up. Oh, I love how the rats, they glow white. They're so pretty. Let's see here. Come here. Surprise! Boom! <laughs> Okay, nothing up here. Oh. I think there's a guy at the top of this thing. I'm pretty sure. Or I guess I should say there's a dead guy. Ugh. A dead guy who fell down. Go boom. Okay, you're over here. You're over here. What's in here? Ooh. Looks dark and scary. Oh, what's back here? nothing okay I thought maybe I hid something back there many years ago but I did not I apologize for those who wanted to hear Grout's story but I've heard it too many times all right the spinning wife at least I assume that's probably Grout's wife from you know a hundred years ago or whatever. Yay! She spun around just for me. Thank you. Means a lot. I love the reflection of the lights on the uh, on the wallpaper. You see that? That looks so cool. How it's like kind of <laughs> so great. I thought uh, Troika did a good job. With that lighting. Ooh, who's this? Now, when I was making the uh, Camarilla Edition uh, mod uh, video, I used this scene right here, which was a lot of fun to do. And then I, and then and that was so long ago, but, um, and then I had a uh, white zombie playing in the background. <laughs> that was, so, that was so many years ago. That was like eight years ago or something. I didn't even know what I was doing back then. Oh. By the flames. Lay low and be cleansed by the flames. Uh, Grout's dead. Well, no, no. I'm not Grout. You already killed him. Grout is dead? Yes. Pity it could not be by my hand. I know. No matter. Soon your self-made kings and false prophets. And false prophets. And the mark of the beast will be washed from the earth. But the coming of the Lord. The coming of the Lord. What accent is that? Is that supposed to be German or something? Uh, let's see here. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Let's discuss this. Babble your native tongue in the pits of the abyss. Of the abyss. I will not hear it anymore. I will not hear it anymore. Okay, that was more like Arnold. <laughs> uh, but... You burn. Tell them it was Grünfeld Bach who sent your soul to the lake of fire. All agents of Satan shall return to whence they came. Let this righteous display serve as a all who serve. Okay, okay, yeah, dude, you're boring me. Yeah, whatever. 
Okay, now this is actually tough. This is a really hard part of this mission. This is the only hard part of this mission, but it's still, it's still tough because these dudes are on fire and they never die. And uh, it's just, it's rough, man. And you can't feed on them because they're on fire. Okay, let's just kind of quietly, whoop. There we go. Oh, that was nice. At least they have less health. And they should have less health. I mean, for goodness sakes, they're on fire. But I don't know which way to go. Whoa! Crap. Ooh! Man, I'm surprised they didn't touch me. I know if I walk over that, I'm pretty sure I'm going to get lit up. Pretty sure I'm supposed to go this way. I'm so glad I'm not melee. Because melee characters, I mean, they're going to get burned. Like, literally, I mean. Not like metaphorically. Someone made fun of me. I got burned. <laughs> they burnt me. No, like, these guys will actually make you, like, physically burn. Okay, shh. Quiet, quiet, quiet. I hear screams and stuff. Ugh. It's terrible. Oh! Okay, okay, okay. I love that I can see them before I get close to them, though. That's really handy. Okay, I'm going to pop up on this dude. There we go. You didn't see anything. There we go. Ha <laughs> ha! You just wait for them and then just pop them off. That's... Oh, crap. Oh, crap. I didn't even know. Ah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All specs. Sparrow McCry. Sparrow, you're so great. Isn't, it, isn't her name weird? Sparrow McCray. I was looking up uh, strange names for girls. <laughs> Guys, I don't think I got touched... By, whoa! That, I spoke too soon. I was just about to say I haven't been touched by a single one of these guys yet because of the shotgun. And then some dude comes running up on me like that. Now I'm kind of paranoid. Let's go. Oh, I really need some ammo. So I was looking up uh, really strange girl names and guy names, and uh, the first name Sparrow uh, came up, and I was just like, huh. I've got to name this character Sparrow. That's just too much fun. Watch her. Wow. <laughs> she looks so cool. All right, guys. Let's turn off all specs. And, uh, you know, I haven't been watching my clock, so I don't know how much time this video has been. But I can't imagine it's been that much time. So uh, I think we're going to have time to do the museum in episode 15, which is uh, super, super exciting for me. Um, let's go talk to Senor Chunk, and, uh, yeah, let's see what, uh, Fat Boy's got to say here. Good evening there. Something burning? <laughs> Ooh, smells like someone burnt the burgers. Uh, yeah, I was eating steak. Uh, I don't smell anything. I've got an appointment with LaCroix. Uh, sure, I'll open her up for you. Okay, thank you. Jeez, I could go for one of them double-spaced burgers. Oh, my gosh. Dude, that's why you're so overweight, man. You got to stop with those double space burgers. Okay, it's Mr. LaCroix. The Primogens still haven't been contacted by Grout. I thought I made it clear that you were not supposed to come back until we had heard from him. Uh, Grout's dead. Grout's dead? Yes. What? Yeah. Yeah, I know. I was like, no way. Uh, yeah, and this guy, Bach, set his house on fire. Nearly killed me. Bach! Every time I think he's lost the scent. So, Bach killed Grout to draw me out. Uh, it seemed like Grout was already dead when he arrived. Bach is a hunter. They stalk and kill our kind to appease their god. Really? Uh, well, if you'd let me finish... No, I'm not going to say that. Uh, see, now, now here, here's the thing, guys. When it comes to uh, uh, LaCroix in 1.5 HD, your haggle is going to determine how much money he gives you and how much he likes you is going to de uh, determine how much money he gives you. Both of those are a factor, just so you know. So I'm going to continue being nice to him, even though I got the Skyline apartment, which was really the only reason I wanted to be nice to him. Uh, but I'm going to continue because more money, money, honey. Uh, let's see here. Nines could have done it. He was, uh, 
You know, I don't want to call out Nines because I don't really think it was Nines. He didn't seem like Nines. Uh, on the way in, I saw Nines Rodriguez. Look at me. What well, I am. Are you sure it was Nines Rodriguez? No, I'm not. Because if it was, the consequences... Do you know where this might lead? Uh, yes. Do you really have any Yes. Idea? A blood hunt, yes. Uh, I'm positive it was Nines. This may mean war with the Anarchs, is that right? See, I don't like any of these lines. None of these lines are good lines. Uh, why don't you tell me, Captain Dramatic? I, I, I don't I don't want to say that. I'm trying to be nice to him. Want me to go find him and kill him? Yeah, like I could really kill Nines Rodriguez. I was born like yesterday. See, none of these lines are appropriate lines. I think... I think a certain uh, a certain individual named Zero More should rewrite this. Um, I'm positive it was nines. It means, but I'm not positive it was nines. It was like a, a doppelganger. A murderer immediately. However, the anarchs of this city may interpret such an action. Well, yeah, of I course they're going to think that's more. On this. I would too. In the meantime, I've come to a decision on the Ankaran sarcophagus. Uh huh. And I believe that for the safety of the inhabitants, yeah, whatever, dude. You just want to diablerize it. To me. So, out of all my available personnel, uh -huh. I'm going to let me guess. You're going to send me. Uh, I'll go at once, Mister Lacroix. The manifest from the Dane shows there was a small box from the same dig on board, but it uh -huh. was listed as missing. Missing. Keep an eye open for it. Missing. It may have been overlooked. Gary. It's crucial. Gary. The sarcophagus in our possession within the next. Okay. You want me to go find Gary? Or, I mean, you want me to go uh, to the museum? Uh, let's see here. All these tasks have left me a little short on cash. Yes, of course. Ooh, uh, 150 yeah. bucks. I can't have one of my representatives running around ill-equipped for That's that. That's right. Task. Dang it. That's right, baby. Uh, okay, so as you just saw, I got $150. My haggle is five uh, in the old versions older versions of TFN, you get like like $15 million with a haggle of five, and that was stupid. Um, and that's how you end the game with an extra 10 grand you don't know what to do with, and you have every occult item. That's so bogus. Uh, so, yeah. Yeah, you're not going to be getting all this, all this money in 1.5 HD. Woohoo! Finally, this game will be hard again. Uh, so what do I do now? Here are the keys to the front door of the museum. The sarcophagus should be in an examination room of some sort. There's a small security staff on site, but I don't want a massacre. Mortals, Mortals are just, are as, just easy as to deceive. Okay, as yeah, no, I totally agree. If you're a sedite, dude, but I'm not a sedite. I'm I'm an asmite vizier. I can't really deceive anybody. Uh, I mean, I guess I can make them bleed, but they're gonna find that a little sus like suspicious and weird. Uh, I'm ready to go. There is a degree of immediacy attached to this task. Yeah, that's why Look fast. That's why I'm going. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, let's go. Now there's a fetish here at the uh, museum. The reason I didn't buy more ammo is because I don't need more ammo. I don't need I, I don't need a weapon like at all. I just need to be quiet, and I need to have uh, silence of death. Okay, what does this say? Okay. Um, the first time I played this game, I'm going to have to admit that dinosaur scared the crap out of me. Because I got that creepy Malkavian music playing in the background, and I saw that dude, and I was like, Ah! Monster! Help! And uh, and then I read the note, and it said it scared somebody else as well. Someone in the game, it scared them. And I felt a lot better. I was like, okay, good. I'm not the only one who is scared. Ooh, that guy's close. All right, I haven't used Quick in the Blood in, well, quite some time. Now, is there an easy way to do this, guys? Because if there is, I don't know the easy way to do this. I do know that I need to find... Um, I need to find the doors I need to go to. Is there a guard down here? Am I going to fall on top of him and tackle him? Nope. I certainly hope not. Are these the doors I need to go to? Hey! That was good luck. Look at that. Okay, nothing here. Nothing here. 
I know I need to go in that door, guys. Don't don't worry. You're all shouting at me. I can hear you shouting at me like right now. Like, zero, go through that door. I know. Whoa, 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 dude, dude, just whoa. Oh my gosh, I thought he was gonna see me. Museum security. Okay, what is over here? Now, this window here, guys, people can see you. And when you hack a computer, you're not crouched anymore. So you got to be careful when you crouch this. Okay, email. I can hack anything, so it's all good. I love Gabe. Uh, number four. Those keys you found, they're Larry's. I'll tell them you found them in the lost and found previous. Uh, it was scary. Dr. Anders Johansson. Oh, that's the first uh, reference to Johansson we've we've gotten so far. Um, let's see here. Silence of Death. Isn't there a guy in here? Yeah, there is. Shh. Shh, 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 shh. Quiet. Okay. I, don't, I think that's all I need from this room. What if there's something... No, this dude's going to turn and see me. No, he's not. Is there anything in here? Like anything special? No? Now there's a guy who goes pee. The pee guy. What is that guy staring at? Is he sleeping standing up? That's impressive. I tried to do that at my job once, sleeping standing up, and I fell over. Okay. Okay, I think this is the bathroom. Okay. Okay, I think I have everything that I need. I have two keys. Um, nobody has found me so far, which is cool. I think, therefore I am. No, that's not what I was gonna say. Ah, uh, I think that those are the only keys that I need to complete this. Now, uh, let me go and turn on Auspex because I thought there were some goodies in here. But I don't know. Yeah, I see some sparklies. Yep, prescription bottle, cool. Hey man, I'll take it, man. Okay, back to crouching. Okay, I just used the museum basement key. Wow, this quest is not going to take very long to do if I do this right. And having uh, auspex is really nice to be able to get an idea where people are. Okay, so this camera, and I can't, I can't run. So far, so good. Stay underneath it. Stay underneath it. Cool. Wow, this is... <laughs> having Auspex is so nice. Oh my gosh. Okay, 2358 is the code glass ring normal watch beautiful and more beautiful awesome i'm loving it oh crap well that didn't turn out well whoa holy smokes dude no come on man i was doing so freaking good really Oh my gosh, are you freaking joking? All because of that camera? Okay, just chill, just chill. You don't see me. I left. I somehow left. Now they're completely cornering me. How in the world am I supposed to do this without... I gotta go. I gotta go, guys. Run! At this point, just run. Who cares? Just go. 
Okay, just stay hidden. Don't move. That was stupid. Sorry, but that camera. That was lame. Okay, what's this? Museum work room. Work something key. Awesome. Oh, I got a reward. Oh, shh. Quiet. 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 Okay. Well, I didn't kill any of them, so that's good. But I did get, uh, I did get discovered. Ah, <sighs> steam blows. View. Estimated time of complete lab results: five hours. What? Email. I hate my G. <laughs> Johansson, okay, FYI, I'll be showing Dr. Johansson around personally. Okay. Relax, ma'am, I had him. <laughs> That's the fetish. Uh, okay, so 2358 is definitely the code. I need my auspects turned back on and silence of death. Okay, that guy's just standing there. We got another guard coming over. He's just like staring at me too. Keep going, dude. Just walk, 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 walk. That's all you gotta do. Whoa! It looks like he's stuck on his friend. So I'm gonna use this. Okay. Here's the security. No! Freaking dang it. You know, I'm so tired of these cameras. They have way... I'm just stealing it. I'm just running. I don't even care anymore. I'm tired of trying to be stealthy. These cameras see too much. Ah! Ah! There's freaking cops everywhere and I can't kill them. This is back at the beginning, isn't it? Yes. Okay, I think I'm safe. Okay, 20. Come on, dude. What? 2358. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, I hate that area. It's those stupid cameras. They see all the way down the hall. Oh my gosh. That's crazy. Crazy ridiculous, I tell you. Whoop. Go, 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 go. Okay. Woo! Guys, I think I did it. Whoa, that guy's like completely already alerted. How, why, I don't know. But he is. CCTV operation. We see you touching all that stuff. <laughs> nice. Okay, so this dude like... Yeah, he's totally alerted, but I don't think he can see me. So I'm just going to kind of come over here. Now, we need to get our fists out. And here, I'll just get this knife out. Pry this thing open. There we go. Bzz, bzz, bzz. That damages the uh, alarms here, which is nice. So I'm just gonna kinda play it cool. Whoa. Oh my gosh. You know, I'm so tired of this. I'm just done. I don't care anymore. Ah! Ah! Oh, this is so frustrating. Ah! Okay, so apparently when the alarm is set off, you cannot use that key. Now that we've summoned this guy, great. Ah, great. Son of a great. Okay, he's cool. He's cool, guys. He's cool like a cucumber. Are cucumbers really even that cool? I don't know. I think it's false advertising. I could have swore I hit that beam. <laughs> oh my gosh. 
Okay, shh. Quiet, quiet, quiet. Now, I don't know how in the world he does not see me right now. That's ridiculous. Wait a minute. I thought I had the museum door key. Maybe I does not. Great. So, okay, I'm confused now. Where do I get the key for that door? Do I have to get it? Do I have to get it in that office? That means I'm going to have to break the window out, which is, I mean, no, oh, no doubt going to alert him, but I don't see a key in there. See, this is the part of the game I get really, really confused on. Oh, I can see Beckett way over there. That's pretty cool. Um, okay, so I had the museum workroom key, and I thought that was what I needed. Apparently, it's not. Uh, guys, I'm stuck. I have the fetish. That's pretty cool. Um, but I'm stuck. And I don't know what to do. I'm not sure what to do. Okay, um, let's get my knife out and break this. Because I don't know what to do. But even if I get in there, I mean, like... Oh! Guys, I think I need to kill these dudes. Because I don't know how else to get the key. How, how am I supposed to get it? Oh, wow. There's another guard coming up this way, too. Great. That's what we need. More guards. For sure. Um. Oh, look. Now he's actually, like, hunting me. Guys, I don't have a clue what to do. I don't know how to get the key. I mean, I got past these alarms, but... Wow. That's close. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and just uh, quicken this dude's blood. Oh, when you quicken his blood, he drops it. Nice. Wait a minute. Freeze. No, wait! Come on, man! Ah. Uh hate this game. So frustrating. Okay, now he's going to still be alerted. I'll have to run. Go! No. Go away. You. Go away. I have things to do. Don't... Okay, it looks like he's going to guard the door while I have a conversation with Beckett. That'll work. Nah. I'm so tired of those alarms. Whatever. Beckett, I know you're behind the door. Ha <laughs> I can't understand why someone would go through the trouble of stealing a box with a very ancient corpse. Nah. This city's not that dull. Nah. <laughs> it's pretty dull, dude. No, I'm just kidding. Okay. Uh, Beckett, what are you doing here? I'm an archaeologist, oh. so I thought I'd indulge in a quick study of this Ankaran sarcophagus. Okay. So riled Guys, up. I just realized something. My guess? If I can get Beckett to train me, I might be able to get a stat increase in knowledges, which would be so freaking cool. Uh, let's see here. Did you get to examine it at all? Oh, I really wish I had. All this speculation about the sarcophagus containing an antediluvian and being a portent of Gehenna is making me cringe. <laughs> These are the kinds of ridiculous, superstitious assumptions. Uh, okay, okay. Uh, antediluvians? No one I know has ever met one. Okay. But each of the clans and their bloodlines supposedly trace their origin to a Um, region. okay. Uh, let's see here. Uh, in Gehenna? Armageddon, Doomsday, the end blah, of all Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, let's see here. Uh, why do you disagree? As I said, many cultures have the fear of some form of apocalypse. Humans okay. and kindred are just as capable of managing their own destruction as a deity. 
Yes, that's that's probably true. Uh, let's see here. Are there any other signs of Gehenna? What prophecy doesn't have vague apocryphal signs? Let's see. The usual ones cited are the appearance of thin bloods. And blah blah doom and gloom. Gotcha. Okay. Uh, thin bloods. Thin bloods. They're a fascination of mine. Yes, yes, mine too. Can you tell me more about thin bloods? Thin bloods rarely exhibit features or powers of their clan, and many interesting. Ca- Who's Cain? Cain is the biblical first kindred and founder of the myth. Okay, mytho- that's all fascinating. How long have you been studying kindred lore? For 300, 300. years, I've been trying wow. to determine the function of our existence. The I think uh, Akim is 400 years old, I'm not content I believe. to attribute it to some act of supernatural... Okay, blah, 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 blah. Uh, let's see here. Any thoughts? Uh, we're a predatory species like lions. Yes, I've heard that theory before. Uh-huh. It certainly seems plausible, but there's little proof to support it. Um, it seems like there's a lot of proof to support that we're predators. Uh, let's see here. Um, I really don't know. My sentiments exactly, but there's time to rectify that. Well, um, my- okay. Uh, let's see here. Oh, okay. So I don't have the option to increase my scholarship probably because it's already four. I think you have to have a lower, um, that's a shame. I should have waited and not spent the money on it. Ah, well, that's frustrating. Okay, ah, you know, that's okay. That's okay. We're not trying to min-max here anyways. Uh, let's see here. Uh, if you find the sarcophagus, uh, call the prince. Good night. Ooh, I got two experience for not killing any guards. I got caught, but I didn't kill any. That's cool. Nice. Okay, so we are now back. Looks like I have to wrap things up, unfortunately, because I'm having fun. Ah, just when we get started, I always have to, you know, I should do like a like a three-hour YouTube play session. Would that be fun, guys? <laughs> All right, so uh, here, let's just let's just go talk to uh, Mr. Lacroix, and. Um, we got some stuff we want to sell. We need to go talk to Pisha and give her the fetish. I don't know if we'll get anything for giving her one fetish. Yeah, yeah, I think we will. I think we'll get the... Uh... Oh, did I not talk to him? Watch this. Whee! <laughs> Whoa, I just like flew over your desk. Oh, excuse me. I'm uh, starting to doze off there. Oh, I need to get a guard animal of some sort. A guard animal. Folks come in. <gasps> Maybe one of them chimps like on that show Ape Detective. Ape Detective. I love it. LaCroix is expecting me. What? Oh, yeah, uh, Mr. LaCroix is <laughs> This guy's me. awesome. He, he sure likes to work late. Yeah, yeah, he sure does. He sure does. Uh, even though I don't care, you keep saying things. No, I'm not going to say that. I like, I actually like listening to Chunk. He's hilarious. <laughs> oh, my gosh. He's one of the best characters. The unsung hero of Bloodlines. Okay, Mr. LaCroix, let's have a little conversation. The folly of leadership is knowing that no matter what you do, behind your back there's hundreds, certain that their own solution is the sounder one. Is the sounder and one. And your decision was the byproduct Dude, of... Dude, you're I a whimsical dart toss. Sentence, ...and I soak the critical fault. Ugh, I don't like you. Uh, if you made some good decisions once in a while. <laughs> no. Uh, what is this about? The blood hunt on Nines Rodriguez for the murder of Uh-oh. Alistair Grout will be called... Because of me? Rodriguez's execution is only a matter of time. Ooh. I have lit the fuse. Yes, At least your head will sharpen the you, pike's fall. My most promising attendant has relieved me of one encumbrance tonight. Do you need assistance bringing the sarcophagus up to my office? Uh, Stolen? Sto- oh, no! No! I accidentally hit it too fast. I love this part of the game. He's like, stolen? I... Stolen? Oh, wait, How? Uh, oh, Who would... Uh, oh, uh, uh, uh. Gary. <laughs> Gary, you <laughs> that is like the best naked. dialogue ever. I should have anticipated your treachery, sewer rat. <laughs> <laughs> Gary? The Nosferatu primogen. Yes. The Nosferatu were responsible for finding out where the sarcophagus was I have was a picture of one of his boys. I'd like to go see Gary museum. and blackmail him. They were the only ones who knew. It's obvious to me. Okay, the nose. I want him found. I, I want him <laughs> found. Found. I want him 
Bound. That's another really cool line. Catastrophe to this city. If it were to fall into the wrong hands. Uh, let's see here. When you say want him found, you mean me, I'm assuming. <laughs> uh, I'll find Gary in the sarcophagus. The Nosferatu lurk in the filth below the streets of Hollywood. But not even I know just where they hide. Oh, Hollywood. Hollywood is unfortunately lacking in any Camarilla loyalties. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, oh wow, he just kicked me out of his office. Just like that. What a big jerk. All right, so the princess suggested speaking with Isaac Abrams, the Baron of Hollywood. So we now can go to Hollywood, or uh, yeah, to Hollywood. Uh, that, that's really exciting. That's awesome. Um, let's see here. Experience of six. What am I saving up for? So I got my inspection to level six plus two to eight. Um... Having a, you know what, guys? I think I'm just going to take the plunge and either save for all specs or I'm going to put more into stamina, which would cost eight. I really do need more stamina because uh, it's it's pathetically low. Um, I do want to go talk to Pisha and get my reward, whatever that's going to be. Um Let's go ahead. You know what? Let's go to uh, let's go talk to Pisha. Give her the fetish. See what we get in return. And then after that, let's go to uh, Fat Larry and start selling this stuff. And then, unfortunately, I think that's going to be the end of this glorious episode. But what's really cool is in episode 16, we're going to start Hollywood, which is going to be really, really yes. fun. That's that's when I really start feeling powerful. Um, let's see here. Here's the item from the museum. Yes, this is genuine and of use. The me. odious chalice. That's what I get. On it. A whisper. I will give you this in trade. It is known as the odious chalice. It swells, swells with spilled, with spilled blood. blood. To its owner. Oh, that's really gross. Okay, it looks like a wet, rotting pig's face. Uh, thanks. Um, yeah, great. I'll be back if I find anything else. Okay, so we got a rotting pig's face. Yay. You have no idea how excited I am to get a rotting pig's face. That is so gross looking, dude. Like, seriously. Ugh, I hate looking at it. Okay, so we have a ton of stuff to sell. Um, we also have uh, some money uh, from uh, hacking bank accounts. Come on, get up there already. Thank you. Uh, we also have some money waiting at our uh, apartment. But we also have a guard waiting at our apartment who wants to shoot us. Ugh. So... Let me see here. Let's go ahead and go to the Skyline Apartments first and get the money before I sell and uh, and deal with that guard. I may take a uh, humanity hit for that. So I'll see you guys there. Okay, guys, we are back at the Skyline uh, nasty old apartments here, even though mine's pretty nice. I'm going to go in and I have a feeling the guard's going to shoot at me. So I may just end up killing him. Yep, he's already freaking shooting at me. Wait a minute. Oh, he's friendly. Hey, buddy. How you been, man? Uh, there's some blood over there. I think it's yours. There's some blood over there. I think that's mine. Uh, but I'm glad you're not shooting at me. Thank you. 75 and $50. Oh, man, that's, that's freaking fantastic. Awesome. Okay, well, uh, apparently, uh, the guard's no longer mad at me. So that's a really good thing for him. Because uh, if he and I end up battling, uh, he's going to lose. <laughs> I can tell you that. Um, let's see here. Let me look at my ammo. What do I got? 8 out of 57 rounds. Ithaca M37 defense. And then 6 out of 83. So I really need more shotgun rounds. Now, there are more items. There's an item now that I've raised my inspection. There's an item in uh, Santa Monica. And down here. here. You know I got what you need. 
that I still need to find. So let's go and find those after I sell some stuff here. Uh, do I need six blood bags? Well, blood bags don't really give very much. So maybe six of them is a good idea. Ooh, gold ring, 43. Look at that. I got 1215 before selling this stuff. 1301. The odious chalice is worth 237. That's pretty awesome. I don't see why Larry would really want it though. Uh, normal watch is 21. Very cool. 21 for prescription. 43 per morphine bottle. Man, I'm up to 14.29. This is insane. We can sell this knife. Um, okay, I really need some more shotgun ammo. Okay, awesome. That's still wow. That's fantastic. Um, let me turn on all specs. Uh, let's start with this side of the map. And oh, what? Dude! Oh, that's awesome. Okay, never mind. I found the item. It's right here. It's the IMI Mark 19. It's hidden next to this uh, dumpster. <laughs> that's awesome! I just, like, found it. Cool! <laughs> All right, so I'm at 65 ammo. I kind of wish I could have sold it, though. But you know what, though? I wouldn't have kept all the ammo. So never mind. Okay, well, that was a short uh, run. Let's uh, let's see here. Why don't we go visit our ghoul and see if she has anything for us? See kind of what's going on with her. Uh, check the computer, all that good stuff, and then and then we'll go see if we can find that item in uh, Santa Monica, and then we'll go from there. All right, guys, I will see you upstairs in a minute. Okay, guys, we are now in the apartment. I just saved you uh, a ride that took forever in that bumpy elevator. Let me shut this vent because of my OCD-ness, which is so great to have. Uh, oh, you're back. Okay. I um, I went out this evening, and I, well, I met someone, and he wouldn't leave me alone, so I, huh? he came back here with me, and... What? Well, I thought you might want to, you know, want to drink his blood. What the? You brought somebody home? Oh my gosh! You did what? Where? Where is he? Um, uh, in the bathroom. I I locked I locked him in. Oh my gosh! Did I mess up? Uh, um, I don't know yet. I'll see what I can do. Oh my gosh! Ugh, Heather, did you mess up? I don't know. Maybe yes. Maybe no. Uh, let's see here. Let's uh, let's turn this off because it's kind of annoying. Let's see my emails here. Oops, email. A gambit. A gambit has been played. The king leaves himself open. Okay. Business in Hollywood. From LaCroix. I have a certain financial interest in a restaurant in Hollywood called the Cavaletti Cafe. I have made an offer on the establishment that is more than generous. But it seems that the owners are remiss to accept. It is my understanding that a renowned food critic named Tommy Flayton will be writing an article about it. Okay, so he wants me to mess that up. Cool. Yeah, I can do that for him. That should not be an issue. Now, let's deal with this dude in here. Uh, I don't see him. Is he in here? Ah, yes. Hey, what the hell is this shit? Let me out, goddammit. I'll kill that crazy bitch. Whoa. Look, my sister, she's a little nuts. I'll let you go if you'll forget about this. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, listen, calm down and I'll let you go. Hey, wait, and I'll forget about this. Yeah, let's do the persuasion one. Psycho bitch brought me here, hit me in the head, and locked me up. What the fuck? I mean, who the fuck does that? <laughs> well, only because you tried to rape her. At least that's what she'll tell the cops. Oh, so she's going to play it like that, huh? All right, all right, just let me out. I want to get as far away from that crazy bitch as possible. Uh, there, once again, I'm very sorry. Oh, okay. Well, I was planning on feeding on him, but okay, well, that's cool. Um, I got a humanity, so I'm up to seven. Hey, not bad. Awesome. 
Okay, uh, hey, Heather. I was hoping I could talk to you about something, uh, about your blood. It's you. Earlier tonight, you weren't following me, were you? No. I had this feeling like I was being watched. Really? Maybe it's nothing, but I'm still a little shook up. Aw. It wasn't me. It could be it could be one of a number of people who want me dead. Uh, er. <laughs> uh, somebody you don't know approaches you, shoot them in the head. If they're after you, yes, I'll do it. I just need to learn how to use a gun first. Ah, yes, I can I can definitely uh, help you with uh, do that. I will. <laughs> Good, now come here. I need your blood. Uh, about your appearance. Change it. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I like it dark and, dark and gothic. Wait, 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 wait. Come Master? back, I'm not done. I need your blood. Yum, yum. Yum, yum, yum. Slurpy slurp slurp. Awesome. All right. So this is good news, guys. I'm looking at 1320 in my wallet. Six bags of blood, an odious chalice, a photo of one of Gary's associates feeding. Can't wait to blackmail him with that. Um, I think we're sitting pretty good as far as uh, let's uh, recap here. Uh, what have I purchased? Well, that's a great question. I purchased investigation level four, which put me at an inspection of level six, um, which means, you know what, guys? I think it's time to leave this apartment, go to Santa Monica and find whatever uh, item number eight is. And, uh, oops, I did not mean to do that. Um, and find out what number eight is and then show you where it is and what it is. Cause I'm kind of curious too. So I will see you guys there, uh, in just a minute. Okay guys, we are now in, uh, Santa Monica and we are looking for, uh, item number eight. Um, I'm just kind of checking all the corners and stuff here. Um, I don't know exactly. I know there's something under the stairs. I don't know what level you... Oh, yep. There it is. All right. Awesome. Uh, let's see here. What is this? A Smith & Wesson M29. Oh, my gosh. Dude, we got to check this thing out. We have got to check this thing out. Oh, that's a big gun. Look at that. Go ahead, make my day. This 44 Magnum revolver, made famous by Dirty Harry, has enough power to crack an engine block in a single shot. Alternate fire mode fan. Wow. Okay, so that does 52 damage compared to my IMI Mark 19, which does 48. So this is definitely more powerful. I have a feeling, though, it's not quite as accurate. But it does take the... Uh, same ammunition as the IMI Mark 19. So I don't know. Well, that's saying six, and this is saying 65. So is it is it maybe different? Let me let me use it here. Wow, that is a big gun. <laughs> that's a big handgun. Holy smokes, very cool. Uh, but I'm not seeing. Let's see here. Uh, all I did was zoom out here. Use. Okay, how come I can't actually? Oh, that's weird. I just shot it, but it made no noise, and it didn't use any ammo. It's not okay. This is, guys. I think I might have just found a game bug. This is weird. For some reason, here, let me let me get out my uh, IMI Mark 19. Can I fire this? Oh, yeah. That definitely fires. Okay, let's go back to this uh, Smith & Wesson M29. Okay, now it works. Ha! Huh, that's weird. Okay, guys, I don't know what the deal was there, but uh, now it's working. Um... Okay, well, you know, uh, let me think about which gun is going to be my primary. It's going to be one of these two. I'll still continue to use the Smith & Wesson uh, Special. 38 Special is a sidearm. This will be my big cannon gun. 
Uh, I think I'll probably stay with the IMI Mark 19 and sell the uh, M29. Um, but uh, yeah, awesome. So we have all of the items from everywhere that we can find except for Hollywood, which Hollywood is going to have eight items. Uh, excuse me, seven items for me to find. So this is like really exciting. Uh, but we will go to Hollywood in episode, that'll be what, 16? And uh, I guess, uh, okay, so this weekend I'm going to be in the Cherokee National Forest in Tennessee with my church's youth group. I'm an adult leader um, out there, so I won't be recording this weekend. So this week you're only going to get uh, episode 14 and 15. I will begin recording on Monday, next Monday, uh, on for uh, episode, gosh, I guess that'd be, what, 17? And uh, also I'm going to make a uh, change log announcement on ModDB and on Planet Vampire and the uh, TCI website um, probably on the end of this week before I leave to go to Tennessee. So uh, awesome, guys. So, um, yeah, I won't be home all this weekend. So if you don't get any comments from me uh, or replies, that's why. But I will be back, so don't worry. Um, awesome, guys. I had a good time and uh, wish me luck out there. I don't I, 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 I hate spiders. And I don't want a spider to jump on me. That'd be really like not good for me because oh, I just don't like creepy crawlies. Uh, anyways, but uh, yeah. So I love you guys, and uh, I will see you soon. Zero morph out.